Hi guys, today I have a pretty cool book to be going through with you. Um, I'm a little bit geeking out about it. It's aimed for eight years plus and it is called My First Book of Quantum Physics. I know, right? It's pretty cool. Uh, my son is six and he loves maths. He loves it. He, he's um, he's very good at it at school and he's constantly asking us to give him maths questions uh, to solve at home. And he was telling me that when he's done his maths in class, they're allowed to um, start studying science and start reading science books or um, little extra curriculum to be doing because he because he's finished his maths. So when I got um, the opportunity to review this book it was like a definite yes please give me that book give it to me now I mean me and my partner um are, are geeks and nerds so anything to do with science space maths it, I'm going to be all over that this book is aimed at eight years plus and it's fantastic it goes through um, and it, it explains um, what atoms are, who Sir Isaac Newton is, what Sir Isaac Newton, Newton, you see that? Who Sir Isaac Newton is, what he discovered, how um, about uh, how everything around us—the trees, the plants, the food—all are compared to very, very small things known as subatomic particles. And the book explains this in very simple terms. Um, obviously for children to understand the fact that the mystery of light has got a page on Maxwell and the light waves that's it that's my kid all over that there because that's his name so he's gonna he will be studying this before I know it I mean he's six at the moment so I think it might be just a wee bit advanced um, it explains about Einstein and light and how that's come about I will write a blog post up um, with, with a bit more detail um, of what's in the pages and what it covers. I do think, as he's just six, that it is a wee bit too much for him. Um, but he, he loves to learn. Children at that age are sponges, aren't they? And they just want to absorb everything. And why not sit down with them and then go through molecules and look how they've done it. They've done it as blocks. So when we talk about water being H2O, you can show them how water is H2O, how you've got the two H hydrogens at the bottom and the oxygen on the top and two parts hydrogen to one part, I'm, you know, so you've got um, two part hydrogen to one part oxygen makes water and it's got here, if we combine one if we combine one atom of oxygen with two atoms of hydrogen, we get a molecule of water. So it's also, it's explaining it in the scientific terms, but it's showing them in what they will understand. They will understand blocks, don't they? And it makes sense for them. So we've got down here, ozone. You know, that's quite topical, isn't it? What we're doing to the ozone layer. And it's got here, it's three times the... Um, oxygen so ozone is and it's look it's got your drawings up here as well so it's like three blocks of oxygen um, if we join three atoms of oxygen we get ozone which is very very toxic gas that is violet in color well I didn't know that one do you know it's violet yeah you know our DNA Gluco glucose Glucose is another good one, especially as my son's uh, granddad is diabetic, you know, and it's, sh and it's showing you the blocks of what makes up glucose. So then as you go through, somewhere along here, I think you get the periodic table. So then the periodic table will start to make a lot more sense. Now, I'm not saying that this book is going to be for everybody, you know, just it's not, is it? The mere thought of science and physics and it's going to send some people running like the thought of math sends people running and the thought of my sewing machine a little while ago sent me running you know but you know the thought of maths and people just like mm. physics to me at one point was like mm. but you get over it and if you if your child is expressing an interest in the sciences um or this is a good book to start them off on you know and who knows where that may lead who knows 